What's going on, everybody? Woo, it's Thursday, and we are stir crazy. And what's up, everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Cabin fever. Yeah, guys. Oh, it's freezing. <sighs> freezing, freezing. Well, it's freezing rain, freezing fog, and it's just... Uh, Everything yeah. is turned I, to ice. Now. Yeah. Yeah, it, we got more ice, uh, early morning hours come through, and woke up, and it was like, oh my gosh, this is uh, crazy. This is a repeat. And I think today is Groundhog Day. It's, it reminds me of that movie with Bill Murray, Groundhog Day, where he woke up, and it was always Groundhog Day. <laughs> I hadn't and it's seen like, it. This is a repeat outside. It's like foggy for the past three days, and uh, you know. But it hadn't been. Ice. It hadn't been thirty. Like more ice. The ice is like either yeah, thicker bit, than yesterday. A little bit thicker. Yeah. Nothing yeah. like out west Tennessee and Oklahoma and and uh, Texas got. My gosh, those yeah. people have been hammered with ice, and uh, out of power and all that. So hopefully they can get all that straightened out and. Um, it's a mess. We've lived through uh, some ice storms before, and I'm telling you, it is devastating. Knocks out power. You be out for you know maybe a week or two sometimes. Yeah, it's a big deal. So I feel you. I feel you out there in Texas and and everywhere that is We're way worse. Devastated with this ice. Uh, golly, maybe we can get through this and it'll warm up. And before we know it, springtime, right? Yeah, can't wait. That is so my favorite. Yes, we that are is ready for spring. So my favorite. Now you know, going into this, you know, like I said, this camper and off grid and everything, you know, we was just ready for it. No, didn't even matter about the elements or nothing. Yeah, we was ready. We're going. Let's do this. That's then, right. You know, then when you get that extreme heat or extreme cold, it tests your patience. Patience, don't it? Man, yeah, or tests your limits, I guess. Especially when you're, uh, what is it called? All cooped up. Yeah. With this one, this yeah. lovely, <laughs> lovely man here. <laughs> what about it? Well, I'm just you cooped were up. With, something. I'm cooped up with them, and sometimes it's a little challenge. Wow. Yeah, like you're perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So, how does it feel to be cooped up with me? Is oh. it a challenge? Or? Yeah, I'm talking about, yeah, it was a challenge yesterday, boy. Tell you what. He loves I mean, it. When, when, when there's a disagreement in the 28-foot camp or 200 yeah. square foot, it's a serious situation. Yeah. I mean, you can't go far. You ain't going nowhere unless you go outside. And then, you know, yesterday, if you went outside, you'd liable to dig slip and break a hip. <laughs> hey, so, I did slip yesterday. So a we just bit. worked things out, man, and just uh, yeah, because I mean, through. when you have a disagreement, it's like okay, we have the bathroom, we have the kitchen over here, the living room, and then the bedroom. Well, sometimes I'll go to the bedroom and pout. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, and and then you can't get away. You just can't. You're trapped. Yes, we're in a camper. We trap, guys. We trap. <laughs> we are trapped. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thumbnail. Right? Yeah, yeah. thumbnail. <laughs> oh my gosh. But no, we enjoy it, heck. It's just, you know, once you, or I mean, anywhere, you're in a house, apartment, whatever, I and mean, the weather's terrible and you can't get out for three or four days or a week or whatever. It kind of gets to you, you know, a little cabin fever, a little whatever you want to call it, stir crazy. and uh, Cooped well, up. I'll Cooped show you. up with this one. Yeah, I'll show you in just a second. It's it's basically a repeat of yesterday. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So see, foggy. It is uh, 33 degrees, though, so it has raised up one degree above freezing. So, you know, there is some ice falling and dripping, so hopefully this crap is moving out of here, y'all. You're going to have to say. that 
is your yurt forecast for the yurt nation. Yurt. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to have to be, like, even be closer to me. Because I'm no, like, I got the chill. I'm done with that being close for three days now. It's enough. <laughs> uh, no. We do good, and uh, this camper has brought us closer. And, uh, yes. you know, and hopefully it'll make our dreams come true. You know? Our, we're living our dream, baby. Right. We're living But, I mean, we dream. have other dreams, too, though. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. we have other dreams, and, uh, you know, like we've watched others, you know, they sacrifice. You sacrifice a, this big deal so you can maybe eventually reach a bigger deal, you know? So, yeah. uh, that's kind of what what we're doing and what we're going to do and we're staying focused and we're staying on it and yeah just pumped up and excited for you know what's next springtime's coming uh you know we've only lived off grid for eight months so through the summer fall and winter now we're going to experience spring and it's going to be awesome you i know? can't wait yeah springtime we love because we love wildflowers oh big time and i just uh, love it to experience the the spring, yeah. oh, yeah. here, I'm excited, it's you beautiful guys. beautiful and can't wait, and I'm sure a lot of y'all folks are too, because, you know, up north, man, I just don't know. Y'all must not get to even springtime till June. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how oh, y'all handle that below zero, but, man, everybody to their own, you know. Um, and then, you know, the opposite spectrum of that is I don't see how people live in, uh, you know, the hot climates, you know, like, out west where it's just hot you know yeah it's a different hot you know it's drier heat you know of course but it's hot i know when i lived in okinawa i know that the lows y'all would be 60s we were wearing yeah. thermals and jackets <laughs> freezing to death freezing. In 60 degree weather is yeah. it because the blood blood's thinner or how does that work i don't know it's just what you're used to to your climate you know yeah yeah i mean you're used to the pacific island climate you know which like you said never got low no lower than 60 or whatever mm -hmm. and it was humid there I guess, it was wasn't humid it? yeah it was very humid right. boom and on a different note tomorrow mark your calendars Rain, snow, sleep. That's right. It don't matter. We are partying and celebrating because tomorrow, guess what? Guess what, you guys? It's 500, 500 videos. videos. Tomorrow. Tonight is four ninety nine. As you're watching this, it'll be 499 videos from C&C Davis. And you know what? We're going for 500 more. We ain't stopping. And uh, we're pumped up. And so, yeah, tomorrow we are definitely going to have us, uh, you know, a little... Celebration C&C &C style. <laughs> That's you know right. What? So yeah. you don't want to miss that. You don't want to miss that at all. So yeah. today, as you've seen, it's nasty, a repeat from the past two or three days. And we got to go up here at the store and get some more gas for the generator. And didn't want to take you along to show you the same thing as I, yesterday. So It's like I, I want to go, but I don't want to go because it's so cold right. like yesterday. But you guess what? To. I think I'm going with you. No, I know I'm going with you. Now. Okay, well, good. So, anyways, y'all, we're going to get out of here. We'll see you on the next and tomorrow. 500 videos. Heck yeah. So, uh, we thank y'all for that, for the watching and the supporting and the thumbs up and the comments. Over 499 videos and one more makes 500, guys. We thank you. Yeah, we thank do. Thank you we for thank loving you. us. So, if you're watching this, hit that like button, subscribe button, give us a comment, and we'll see you tomorrow. So everybody have an awesome rest of the Thursday evening and night when you're watching this. And uh, we'll catch you tomorrow. Peace out. Love you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 500, baby. Yeah. Yeah, baby. That's right. I'm so excited, you guys. Yeah. I am so excited for tomorrow. So I just want to say, you guys, don't ever, never, ever, ever. I can't say this enough. Right. Give up on you. That's right. You're special and you're so worth. You have a purpose. Don't ever forget that. Yeah. Last but not least. Love you guys. Y'all have a good yurt.